Hello, and welcome to Maxie's Fun Time. This is Maxie, and we are back here on Maxie the Mage in World of Warcraft. Um, we're going to look at our character today, and then we're going to see if we can find us a demon um, invasion spot and go uh, do some uh, killing and spilling there. <laughs> so, there's new talents. Oh, for, first of all, first of all, I want you guys to tell me how uh, you guys like the... Um, the uh, transmogulification. Uh, this is uh, the main thing in action. The only thing I have a problem with is I need one of these with the blue instead of the green. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's possible, but that would make the whole outfit match. Uh, but but as it is, I like it. I like it. I like it. So uh, just so you guys know, I do still have all my BOAs on. Got the hat. Uh, the shoulders. Chest, cloak, staff, all that good stuff, still on. No worries. It's just, you gotta look your best. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, you guys tell me how you like that part. Um, I did select my new talents now. Primary attack, strong range attack. The long cooldown, the hot streak, got the fire blast, got the scorch, got the combust. The spells with the long cooldown that cause it. It doesn't tell you anything on this little screen here. Um, first of all, let's go through here. Fireball throws a fireball that causes four, 500 damage for me. It'd be more for depending on what level you are and what stats you have. The pyro blast is a 4.2 second cooldown as opposed to a 2.1. And there's a mince fire, fiery boulder that causes 1130 damage and then we have two fire blast instant casts with the 11.2 second cooldown it does straight damage it always critical strikes unaffected by global cooldowns or casting we have scorch which you can cast on the move and does a little bit of damage to everybody and uh, it's uh, dragon's breath Cone in front of you, fire damage, four second disorientation. Damage will cancel the effect. So, our level 15 moves here are pyro Pyromanic. It's a passive. You're casting casting Pyro Blast in Flame Strike. Will, while Hot Streak is active, has an 8% chance to instantly reactivate Hot Streak, which is pretty cool. And Fire Starter here is another passive. Your fireball will always deal critical strike when a target is above 85% health, which is okay. But I chose com com conflagration. Conflagration. Fireball also applies conflagration to the target, dealing an additional 46, uh, 56 damage over eight seconds. Enemies affected by either conflagration or ignite have a 10% chance to flare up and deal 114 fire damage to nearby enemies. What this means is I can lead off from a fireball instead of this uh, fire blast and get the uh, stacking, uh, or oh, we're not stacking, but get get the, uh, uh, the dot on there either way, which I like. I am a big fan of that. So that's what has changed. Uh, we are still level... 41. So, let's see if there is actually a demon invasion available. There is, and it's in Dunmore. How long does it have? Two hours. Perfect. So, let's get on our mount. We'll run over to Dunmore. <coughs> and do a demon invasion. Now, you don't have to be max level to do the demon invasions. <clears throat> and you still get the benefits of doing the demon invasion. The only difference is the monsters, except for the really the, the end boss of the, the stages scale down to your level. I don't know how that works. Wow, infiltrator. Somebody's been naughty. <laughs> Oh, well, this is, I, I want to show you guys this when we get in here. The shimmering move here 
Um, we didn't do this one. So, uh, Catarize is the usual Catarize. Uh, increases your speed and buffs your health if you get below a certain uh, Any fatal damage that brings you brings you to 35% and then burns you for 28% over a six seconds while you're burning, movement movement slowing effects are suppressed and your movement speed is increased by 150%. It cannot occur more than once every two minutes. So complete passive. I don't really like that one. Uh, cold snap ice block now has a two. Two charges and can heal you and heals you for three percent of your normal health every one second. And that's cool. Shimmering, it replaces your blink, alright, and gives you a maximum of two charges. So it takes your blink away, gives you two charges instead of one. Alright, that's how it works. A 15 second cooldown. But look at this thing. Look at this. No, what did you do? That's not right. No, that's not the way it works. It did this like little spin move. I don't know. I like it. Regardless, two two times. <laughs> two two of them. I like that. Now we want on here. It's like this little, uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of my monk in their, uh, move is what I'm thinking of the tornado looking thing. So, I'm just, I'm just confused. Um, these are from a really long time ago, so we'll go ahead and reset that. <coughs> so, the only thing I don't know about demon invasions right now is if... Do the chest that drop scan your items for the drop like immediately and hold that or can you save those up? So like every time I do a demon invasion, can I save those chests up and then open them all after I hit level 100? That's, that's what I want to know. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll do some research and I'll let you guys know next time. Because if if you can save them up and, and use them when you're max level and still get the gear, then I would save them up the entire time I'm, I'm leveling. I think it would be my best bet. It doesn't really matter which way you go in here to get to the flight path. I believe it's the same distance. Uh, all these people are rushing to the same place that I'm going. So, what I want to do is kind of get that achievement on this tune. Is uh, There's two achievements that you can get for doing demon evasions, and I would like to get it on this one. So, I want to do all six demon evasions. I kind of want to do them on camera, if I can. Uh, we want to go to Good. this one. Now, the way I'm told this is works is that every time you enter the area where there's demon evasion, it starts you out at the stage one level, and then you like go up from there. So, see? Yeah. So, I'm guessing a bunch of people's on stage one and. It scales up from there, maybe. I'm still confused on how the monsters work. I don't know how I'm attacking the same person as somebody else, and it's 40, let's see, it'd be 41 for me, and then like 90 for them or whatever. I don't know. I do not Citizen's 41. Yeah. There's a lot of people here. 
lot of people here. I need to get closer. <laughs> this is too There we go, stage two. We got to kill lieutenants and. We ain't got this far to give up just yet. Bring them down! Oh, no, no. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Um, what I was doing wrong the first time around I did this is when you die, if you just stand here, they'll resurrect you. Like if you were in a BG. I wasted that one though. Come on. I need a pen dead. And where's our last dude? Has he popped up yet? I don't believe he has. Yep, there he is. Oh, dude, that's cool. The new Caterize. That's pretty sweet. Oh, you gotta go do these uh, things down here, yeah. So, yeah, I'm sorry, guys, if you guys. Oh, there's a dude up here. I don't know if it's the main boss or not. Yeah, let's get up here. <laughs> Looks like he's heading for the town, so that might be a main boss. Help him kill the main boss. Uh, or not the main boss, but the boss of this stage. Gives you a lot more points. Help too. Okay. Shimmer. Oh, they killed him before we got up here. 
There's no more uh, of the uh, little uh, towers to uh, take down down there anyway, so. Now, I believe they've done something with the blink, because it, it's not working the way it used to work. Some enemies. There's no enemies around. I'm gonna have to go back down. There's a guy. I need a target. Uh, you can pick these things up here, the little uh, consumable use items. I don't know if they are. Specific for the demon invasions, or if you can use them elsewhere. What about you guys down here? Is there more people down here? Doesn't look like it. I mean, flying would help. There's a guy. I need to target something. Didn't want to target. I out of range. Wow. Okay. I use my scorch. That way, if he uh, tries to push me back again, I can just. Uh, it won't disrupt my stuff. There's no loot drops on this, guys. So, you don't have to worry about that. And we're almost at the complete stage. Which means we're not the main boss. I die usually at the main boss. At least twice. <laughs> I try to keep out of his stuff. But they do usually do some kind of an area move. Um... One guy that spawned over here, it's, it's a whole bunch of different ones. But one guy that spawns over here, like, spawns in little balls of green and yellow and black. Balls just wander around and knock you around. So, uh... We can uh, do some damage. Now, as you can see, he's a skull now, which means he's higher level than I. So I'm guessing he's max level. Something I can think of. My castabar up there is throwing me off like bad. Oh, sorry, I hit my mic again. You gotta stop doing it. Uh, just in case. <laughs> uh, you know, I think I'm gonna go to the other side here. Nope, oh, he killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Delayed reaction, I guess. Where's he at? Try to. There we go. Come on. Sweet. I need to now, there's a PvP guy over there. He's trying to cheese some. Uh, <laughs> Three seconds, two, one. There we go. As you can see, I gained two levels off of that, so it's a really good way to level. 
at the I beginning. This will not be the last we see of the permanent legion. But when they come back, we'll be ready. Yeah. 41,000. 27,000. So I got about 27,000 per stage, and then I got 41,000 for the thing. And if uh, you come on here for the demon invasions, and you scroll over, it tells you what your war reward is going to be before you even go there. So if I went and done this one right here in Asura, uh, I would get 42,600 experience points. So it's something I could do. I, I do want to do every single one of these on camera, so uh, I'll probably try to go to each area and hang out until one pops up. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, guys. We'll see how it goes. Now, I am initially. Oh, I got another bag still from way back when. Um, it only gave me a big chest. It didn't give me a little one. But you can't open these. I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna save the rest of them. See, I just want to see uh, how it works. Uh, completely worthless for me, but I did get some shards out of it. Uh, and uh, that unlocks the uh, the look. So if I wanted that look, um, I could get that look. Uh, it's not any better than mine. Yeah, I'm happy with mine. Uh, that it's got mastery on it, and I don't have mastery yet. So mastery is not going to help me. I don't believe. I don't believe mastery helps you right now. Anyway, guys, that'll cover it for me today. I'm going to go back to Stormwind. I'm going to back Stormin first. I'm going to also show you the uh, achievement. Come on, load in. There we go. Uh, let's look at the achievement before I do my exit. So. That's it right there. Defend against the Burning Legion by completing an invasion during the launch Legion pre-event. So, it, it, yeah. you are to be congratulated for your success in the Firelands. So, um, but praise the also this is under suffice. feats of strength. So, events. we <laughs> owe you a great deal for the part you have played in the destiny of our flight. Anyway, if you like this episode, make sure you smack the like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications. We may endow it with great power. <laughs> I'll send you notifications where I have new videos out, and you can check them out and see if you like them. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell me what you like it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. I'll see you guys on the next episode.